guys and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. Right now I'm in, I'm just like sharing my poems to the people, so um, I'm just gonna keep it up. Uh, I think we're we're gonna go Monica next, cause why not? Hi, Cass. I have to get into her voice again. I forgot how to do her voice. It's been a while. Hi, Cass. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Gotta remember I'm a male. Uh, yeah. Good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we could do better. Oh gee guys, um, weird thing happened. The, the screen on my OBS decided to freeze up for like the longest time and let's just say it was really disappointing, but it's okay guys, we got it back together. Monica was going through some dialogue. I think the last line in off was was here. I I hope and pray that this thing will work, so I'm probably gonna save this game here, but yeah. Something weird happened. So um I'll try to make reactions generally real, but I hope you guys know that I already got through some parts, so there's that. Don't worry, I won't give up the energy. If you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? So that's basically what she said. I'm gonna save game. Probably gonna have to do this a lot. So, bam, 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 bam. All right, let's return. All right, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be a little afraid to bring things up. Much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Uh, don't worry, Cassie. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. Hand Monica my poem. Mm-hmm. Great, great job, Cassie. I was going ooh in my head while reading it. It's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectation expectations low. That way it always counts when I put in some effort. Uh, that's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Writing that's so full of imagery and symbolism? I like Sayori, who likes using simple and direct words to describe happiness and sadness. Yuri likes it when readers are left to derive their own meaning out of it. It's very challenging to write like that effectively, both allowing people to get something out of it just by feel, or letting them deeply analyze all their nuances. Something like that, I don't know how you say that word. It can take years of practice, which I'm assuming Yuri has at this point. I didn't really ask though. I'm sure I'm nowhere near her level yet. Don't worry so much about that. You, can, you do your own thing. Just keep exploring and, and learn by trying new things. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I love to see you try these things. That's the best way to find a kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little bit biased toward their own kind of styles, but I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. Uh huh. Uh huh. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always have to feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. Hole in the ball, here we go. It could have been me. See, the direction the spackle protrudes. A noisy neighbor, an angry boyfriend, I'll never know I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I, I reel blind, like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas already scorched with a permanent copy of a meaningless image. Just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realized now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he on the other side was looking in. Good poem. Good poem. So, what do you think? Hmm, it's very freeform, but that's what you call it. So I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Uh -huh. it's okay. Yeah, that kind of stuff's gotten pretty popular nowadays. 
That is, a lot of poems have been plenty of emphasis on the timing between the words and lines. When formed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Uh, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that, because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. And another way to think about this, if you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a dark petal of ink. Just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Here we go. And now we do Siri next. Da da da, what do you gotta say? This is a good poem, Cassie. Mail, mail. I have to remember that. Are you sure it's your first time? Of course. It's not that, it's not that good. Am I the kind of guy who'll be writing poems in his spare time? <laughs> I guess you're right. That's why you impressed me. Well, to be honest, I was afraid I wouldn't do it seriously. Why don't you want to write one at all? I'm really happy just that you wrote one. This reminds me of how you're really part of this club now. Not to mention the fact that I was standing in front of you in the club room. In the club room? In the club Well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, Cassie. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Trying to say it's like this for other people? That's something that only really good people can do. Thanks, Sari. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. Then again, can't deny the fact that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah. And I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? So that will be my way of thanking you. Alright. I'm going to hold you to that then. Yay! Now you'll read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> well, we'll see about that. Dear Sunshine, the way it glows through my blinds in the morning makes me feel like you missed me. Kiss kissing my forehead to help me out of bed. Making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you taste are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look buff. The sky is blue. It's a secret. But I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. <coughs> Siri? This, this is just a guess, but you just wait until the morning to write this? No. Just just a little bit. Can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least I makes to feel a little bit better about myself. Don't be mean. I still try my best. Ah, uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say anything. I'm, I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. It came out nice, or how should I put it? Sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. I made eggs and toast. You know you were late for school? It's bad to skip breakfast. I get all cranky. I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> This is so much fun. Monica's the best. Ugh, yeah. But next time, I won't forget. And I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I'll... Well, I guess I'll look forward to it. Oh boy. Just Nazuki now. What do you gotta say, huh? Da da da. Cassie, man, if you're not gonna take this club seriously, then go home. What? Harsh. What? You expect me to believe that you actually put effort into this? Do you think I'm stupid? I'm not a writer. Maybe it's not very good, but yeah, I did put in effort. Well, we all start somewhere, right? If you're still proud of the first poem you ever wrote, then I like to read it. <laughs> Painful to think about? Oh no, she can't show me our poem. Fine. Well, sorry. We'll get better anyway. I'll tell you what to prove, but you're better off just trying again. Fair enough. Well, to each your own, I guess. Anyway, I guess I gotta share mine now. Knowing you, you'll probably think it's stupid. The music just changes. I like it. Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can seek. Cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly. 
People can try, but that's about it. Good poem. Good poem. Love, love the creativity. Yeah, I told you you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced I won't like it? Well, because everyone in high school, everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like, like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can really be disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about writing simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like, I set up the rhyme at the end. But the made it fall flat on purpose. It'll bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. Guess more won't do it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I just to humor with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but Nazuki is feeling proud and I want to take that away from her. Oh boy. Phew. I guess that's everyone. I glanced around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me out for my mediocre writing abilities. You know, they're just being nice. There's no way a poems could stand up to those. This is a literature club after all. I sigh. Guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayori and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Azuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch either expressions change. Azuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Eh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Azuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I don't know that. I just met the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh. You mean, you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it didn't really come out nice at all. Um, oh boy, they fighting. Well, I do have a couple suggestions. Hmm. If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Sayori so liked it. And mailed it too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring, which I haven't yet. Mm. And Mail liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. As Vicky suddenly stands up, <laughs> fight is happening. Oh, I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to press our new member, Yuri. Uh, uh, that's not what I. You, you, you are just... Yuri stands up as well. Fight. Maybe you're just jealous that Mel appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I... No. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way and make everything I do overly cutesy. You... Uh, um... Is everything okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one who's... Oh. Oh my. Oh my. That, that comment, that was something. Natsuki! I'm Natsuki, that's a little... This is... This doesn't involve you! I don't like fighting, guys. Sally both girls went, turned towards me. As if you just noticed I was standing there. Mel! She just, she, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that, that simple writing is more effective than this would have happened in the first place. 
What's the point of making all your poems all convoluted for no reason? Then we need to just jump out at the reader, not force him to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her, Mail. Wait. There's a reason we have so many demon expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning the most effectively. Avoiding them is not only necessarily eliminate yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, Mail? Um. Well. Mm, how did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing. But whoever I agree with, don't probably think more highly of me. Yuri, we're gonna help her. Azuki, you're right that I liked your poem. See? Wait. That's not an excuse for you to be so mean. You should not pick a fight just because someone's opinion is different. Oh boy, settling conversation, so nice. That's not what happened at all. Yuri, when you take our poem seriously? Mm, understand. Yuri. Eh. You're a seriously talented writer. It's no secret that I was impressed. Well, that's... But here's the saying. No matter how simple or refined Stone's writing style is, they still putting their feelings into it. And it becomes something really personal. That's why Nazuki felt threatened when you said your poem was cute. I see. I didn't notice that I... I'm sorry. You... Naz but Nazuki, you took it way too far. Yuri means well, and if we just told her how you felt... So this would not have happened in the first place. Are you kidding? That's exactly what I did. It was her that... Azuki, I think that's enough. You both said some things that you didn't mean. You apologize. Don't you think you should too? Mm. Azuki clenches her fist. In the end, nobody has taken her side. She's just gonna punch Monica for a second, but looks like she did it. She's trapped at this point. Being divine only because she can't handle the pressure. I end up feeling bad for her. Uh, um, sometimes when I'm hurt, it helps me to take a walk to clear my head. I mean, doesn't need to. You know what? I'm going to do that. And it'll spare me from having to look at all your faces right now. That warning, Azuki snatches her own poem up from the desk, up from the desk and storms out. On her way out, she crumples up the poem with her hands and throws it in the trash. Naz Nazuki? She really didn't need to do that. Look across the room. Yuri has her chin buried in her hands while she stares down at her desk. I gingerly approach her and sit in, sit in an adjacent chair. Say, Everything alright? I'm so embarrassed. I can't believe I acted like that. You probably hate me now. No, Yuri? How could anyone not have gotten frustrated after being treated like that? You handle as well as anyone could. I don't think any less of you. Well, alright, I believe you. Thanks, Cassie. You're too kind. I was thankful to have you a part of this club now. Er, it's nothing. One more scene. Um, that one day that Nazuki said about, you know, I would never do anything so shameful. Oh boy, what is this? So, eh, what did Nazuki say? Eh. Oh my god. Uh, um. Well, never mind that. I'm going to make some tea. Yeah, you, you go make some tea, girl. You need that tea. You need a lot. You need a lot of tea. Ah, uh, good idea. Make enough for more than one person, okay? Y yeah. As in, this is where I end it. This is like a double take, okay? I'm sorry. Sorry guys, that probably wasn't really as genuine as it should have been, but you know, just for the sake of... I want all the parts, okay? I want all the parts. I don't want to be like missing like a chunk of like text and stuff. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode, even if it uh, failed a little bit, but... Hey. Dates happen, okay? And so... Yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode, and well... Goodbye guys!